Greetings, my wonderful and beautiful Facebook family. This is your main man and your best friend, Johnny Cash, and we are live. Okay, so I'm going to wait a few minutes and give everybody an opportunity to chime in because um, your man has uncovered the biggest fraud in history. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, I'm going to wait a couple of minutes, like I said, give some of my peeps an opportunity to chime in with your brother. And uh, we're going to take this thing to the next level. Uh, Jean Tuan, thanks for chiming in. Regina, great to see you. Cordy, thanks for chiming in. Nat, thanks for chiming in. We're about to go on to some areas that uh, nobody seems to want to talk about. And uh, that's why I'm talking about it, right? Okay, so um, Nat Turner, you're about to love this one, bro. You're about to love this one, I promise you. I have uncovered the biggest fraud in history, you know? And uh, when I'm done, Somebody might say, well, I've seen frauds bigger than that. Uh, I'll let you be the judge. I will absolutely let you be the judge. But yeah, uh, Robert, thanks for chiming in. Vanessa, thanks for ch uh, chiming in. Uh, Una, thanks for chiming in. Marianne, thank you so much for chiming in. Great to see you. Okay. I'm about to blow the lid off of this fraud. Okay, I'm absolutely about to kill this fraud. Okay, so um, I'm going to wait about one more minute, give people an opportunity to, to come on in and uh, and have a seat. <clears throat> Copper squat, drop your socks, because we're going to let the fungus be among us, right? <laughs> you know, I'm on my way to see my daughter, my 16-year-old, my, uh, my and... Uh, I just had to pause for the cause and pull over into this parking lot and go live because uh, this thing upset me so bad. I couldn't drive another mother father until I talked to my sisters and my brothers about the biggest fraud that I have just, I mean, just uncovered. I just uncovered this. I just uncovered this. I've been on this path for the last 20 years now, and I have studied and had an opportunity to even share the podium with some of the world's greatest black intellectuals. And nobody, I mean nobody, has even broached the... We're experiencing a little Facebook Buffy there. But don't worry about that, people. That might happen a couple of more times before I'm done. But whenever it happens, just sit tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the thing. No one has even broached the subject that I'm about to get into this evening. I'm coming to you live from Chicago, Chicago, Illinois, right? Okay, so this is what it is. Remember, I made a post a couple of hours ago, and I said, uh, not even, not even that long ago, probably an hour or less, where I said, do not trust any history, any American history prior to 1865, because that is the year that they reconstructed American history, right? So any history prior to 1865, any American history before that, so any history prior to that time frame, that being 1865, cannot be trusted. You cannot rely on it, okay? I don't give a damn if they produce documents claiming to be prior to 1865. You cannot rely on those documents. You must do your forensics, your carbon-14, however um, you you need to forensically um, analyze those documents, you got to do it because any history prior to 1865 in America cannot be relied on because from 1865 
for about maybe 50 or so years, we went into the reconstruction period of American history, which is when they reconstructed the history. They didn't reconstruct the societal conditions for the newly freed slaves to have a better life, which is what they pretend was happening. No, oh hell no. That did not, that did not happen. But what did happen was the absolute reconstruction of American history. Okay, now, all right, now, remember how they say that uh, the King James Bible of 1611 is the Bible that was given to the slaves, all right? The slaves that were um, appointed as the teachers of the slaves who could not read, all right? So the slave who could read became the preacher to the slaves who could not read. And remember how in the Bible it has different passages uh, advocating slavery and uh, admonishing the slaves to be faithful and obedient to their masters. Okay. All right. That's the 1611 King James. All right. They want you to believe that in 1611 we had slaves. They want you to believe that in 1611, we had slaves in America who were um, being taught to obey their masters. All right. Now, you might say, well, yeah, we did. Yes, we did. Apparently, we did not. And I'm about to prove it to you. OK, so the presumption is that there was a King James Bible of 1611. All the King James Bibles that you see have the preface from 1611 in it. Well, guess what? The first King James, and I Googled this shit, okay? Don't take my word for it. Google it for yourself. I just Googled the first King James Bible in America. And guess what I found? I found that the King James Bible of 1611 didn't even reach America until 250 years later. That's 18... The first King James Bible of 1611 didn't even reach America until 1861. Why is that? I'll tell you why. Because it wasn't printed until then. It was not even printed until 1860 freaking one. Well, how did it get to America? We're going to have to talk about that on our next Facebook Live broadcast. But let's talk about what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the biggest fucking fraud in history, which is the belief that there were slaves in 1611 in America who were being taught from the King James Bible to obey your masters. Now, I just put a post up saying, don't rely on any American history prior to 1865. Well, what happened in 1865? Well, what happened is 1865. According to the Constitution, that was the ratification of the 13th Amendment, freeing the slaves. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute now. If the first Bible that was supposed to be used to teach the slaves didn't even reach America until 1861, and guess what? Chances are it didn't even reach America then because based on what I read, it was not printed until 1861. I'm talking about in England. It's called the ERV, the English Revised Bible. The English Revised Bible. And that was the first King James Bible that had only 66 books. Because according to history, the original King James Bible had 80 books. Hello. Hello. And again, I say hello. So the original King James Bible of 1611, which we do not have. <laughs> I was talking about the 16, the original King James Bible of 1611, which we do not have originally had 80 books in it. The King James Bible of 1611 that we have today only has 66 books, but it is not the King James 
Bible. It is the English Revised Bible, but it doesn't say English Revised Bible. It says King James Version. It not only says that, it says the authentic, authorized. It says the authorized King James Version of the 1611 Bible. That's bullshit, people. That is fraud. And what they want you to believe is that during the time frame of what they want you to believe is that during the time of 1611, there were slaves in America. The damn Bible that was supposed to be used to teach the slaves wasn't even printed in England until 1860 fucking one, and I know it took at least four years to get to America, so let's say 1865, that bitch gets over here. How convenient to have the 13th Amendment say we are now freeing the slaves. You know what? The way I feel right now, it wasn't no goddamn slaves. What? Listen, by the time the Bible got here, the, eight, the 13th Amendment had been ratified. They want you to think that you were slaves. Niggas didn't even hear about Jesus until 1865. I'm approximating because the Bible that taught about Jesus that eventually got over here didn't even leave England. Wasn't even printed in England until. You know, anybody who knows me will, will tell you if if you ever see Johnny Cash cry, be very afraid because he's really upset. He's pissed off. And chances are, if you're arguing with him, if, if, if you see him start to tear up, he's tearing up because he knows he's right. And I'm tearing up right now. I feel like crying like a bitch because this shit here is so upsetting, man. It is so fucking upsetting. That's why I keep telling people, you cannot get knowledge from a book. You have to do the forensics on that information from that book. And you have to validate all that data. You got to do your forensics on that shit, people. You don't just read a goddamn book and say, I got the knowledge. You ain't got a goddamn thing but a belief. Belief is not knowledge. Only once you prove the data does it become knowledge. Okay? History is a puzzle, people. You got to put that bitch together. You can't just read a book and get history. You have to analyze what you are reading and determine forensically whether or not it makes sense to you all right okay i know a man ain't supposed to cry but these tears i can't hold inside this is real shit people this is real shit we have been lied to had hoodwinked had a muck run on our ass man this shit is fucking crazy they keep showing you movies about jesus why in the fuck do you think they keep showing you slavery movies because they want you to believe in that shit. Well, damn, Johnny Cash, you're going to fuck about reparations. I don't give a fuck about reparations, man. This shit is about truth, nigga. This is about truth. Learn business. Make your own goddamn money. Quit trying to make let another Quit trying to make another motherfucker pay you for some shit that didn't happen. Kind of like this Negro, these Negroes in Philly. You know, the, the game they ran on Starbucks. In fact, that was deeper than just two brothers. This shit was engineered at other levels, but I ain't got time for that. I'm here to talk about this other fraud. I'm here to talk about this other fraud. Okay? So the bottom line is this, people. Somebody wants you to believe that you have been a slave for 400 years to line you up with the Bible narrative about the, the tribes of, the, the, the tribes of Israel being enslaved in Egypt for 400 years. Now, historically, that shit never happened. Yes, all scholars are aware of that. Jewish scholars will tell you before anybody else that shit never happened. Okay, then. So they want niggas in America to identify with those people, right? So that they will believe that they are somebody other than the people. Okay, so let me calm down because I am pissed as fuck. I am pissed to the height of pissivity. Okay, so here's what the game is. The game is they want you to identify with some people that you are not from a place from whence you never came so that you will release your heritage here on the shores of North America so that the European 
can claim your land without just compensation. That's where you look for your reparations, not slavery, but the thievery of your fucking land. We're no different than the South Africans who had the Dutch come in and take their shit. That's the page we're supposed to be on right now, people. Getting all our fucking land back. Damn slavery. That shit, based on my research from tonight, that shit has not even. Based on my research, people, slavery is a fraud. It has not happened in America. It never happened. The Europeans got here sometime around 1865, forged all these goddamn documents, forged all the documents of the founding of all these Ivy League universities and colleges and shit to make you think that they've been here for hundreds of years. All of that is bullshit. All they're trying to do is make you believe that you were a slave and that you are some chosen people or some lost tribes of another place over across the damn Atlantic. The truth of the matter is we are in a state of war with a European corporation that has taken our land hostage and under siege since 1865. We are in a sustained condition of war. That is why we do not have the right to vote legally every 20 years. Con every 20 years, Congress has to sign off on our right to vote because they have stolen our lawful government from us. Motherfuckers. That's the name of the game. That's the fucking story, people. That is the goddamn story. You're right, Ramona. It was all about the land and they took the fucking five dollar indians and gave them our shit called reservations gave them bitches banks and and casinos and got us in some goddamn ghettos that they named during hitler's regime in nazi germany to make us identify with jews there is no identification Required. We are not identified. I'm so upset. I don't know what to do right now. It was never about slavery. It was all about the land. Oh, my God. This is unfucking believable. You cannot write this shit. You cannot write this shit. I had no idea when I woke up today I would learn the blockbuster <laughs> that I fucking learned. And it is a blockbuster, people. There was no slavery. It's all about the land. That's why we can't vote. They have to sign off on our right to vote. On Not our right, our privilege to vote every 20 years. Why is that? Because we are the original people on this land, and this is our land. If they give us the legal, lawful right to vote... We will have power to take back our original de jure government, right? If we were slaves, what the goddamn slave ships? You know how Europeans love to mon um, memorialize shit? Why are the goddamn slave ships in the fucking museums if there were fucking Africans brought over here? M hundreds of millions of fucking Africans as slaves. Get the fuck out of here. Show me a goddamn slave ship on the shores of North America. Johnny Cash, you a pussy sitting up there on Facebook Live crying. You can kiss my ass. All right? You know, it's crying time, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, and uh, it's also ass-kicking time. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And the way you kick somebody's ass is, <laughs> it ain't about.